Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, here in the United States, this is just a quick commentary. Here in the United States, Major League Soccer has taken off. Look at the numbers for MLS. You'll be surprised. It's quickly emerging as a major sport here. But let's not kid ourselves. The level of football being played here in the United States, and I'm talking about world football, isn't remotely close. It's not analogous in any way, shape, or form to what's being played on a world level. Right, so you had the recent spectacle of the Premier Leagues, Manchester United, shaking off the rust in preparing for a new season. And they actually played one of the better teams in the United States MLS League, right? Uh, the Los Angeles Galaxy. You may recall them, right? They were the team that David Beckham came to the U.S. to join. They're the team of Landon Donovan, a guy who had been a staple of U.S. World Cup teams, but who didn't make the last World Cup. Now understand, the game was so hyped that more than 80,000 people watched the game at the Rose Bowl. It was that big. The end result says it all. Manchester United won the game 7 to nothing. Folks, it was a rout. What it establishes is that, quite frankly, the MLS is really a minor league when compared to outfits like the Premier League. Understand, Manchester United no longer is as dominant as they were in the past, but yet they were far too dominant for the Los Angeles Galaxy in front of more than 80,000 fans, more than 85,000 fans in Southern California. Now let me point out, Major League Soccer here in the U.S. is a great sport to bet on. You'll often have better than even money on each of the betting options, right? You can hedge plays by picking the team you think that's going to win to win the game and by also picking a draw, right? Since you're getting better than even money on both sides of that play, if either happens, you make a profit. But just like David Beckham was past his prime when he came over here to play football, just understand that MLS is not world-level football. It's simply not. If you question that reality, then I invite you to just look at the box score of the beating administered by Manchester United. And keep in mind, they were in preseason form over the Los Angeles Galaxy, who were in mid-season form, who are an above 500 team in the MLS, right? It's apples and oranges. We in the United States, whatever international ego we have, need to accept the fact that when it comes to football, we're not there yet. We're still a minor league. We're still not ready for the, word, for the world stage, at least not against teams like Manchester United. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Also, I do occasionally pick MLS games at DeWireSportsBetting.com, a free site. Thanks for stopping by.